Hello, dear students. This is your ICT teacher, Mr. Bilal Hatanli. In this video, we are going to talk about the main topics that we are going to cover in the ICDL course in the next two weeks. Week three and week four in the second semester. Before proceeding, just let's make sure and confirm that all we have this textbook for our material, for our subject, which is Computer Essentials under Windows 10 platform. So as I said at the beginning, we are going to talk about the main topics that we are going to cover the next two weeks. The week of 21st January through 25th, and the next week, or the week after, which will start on 28th of January through the 1st of February. During the next week, we are going to cover three lessons, lesson seven, eight, and nine. And the week after, we are going to cover also three lessons, lesson 10, 11, and 12. Okay. During lesson seven, we are going to start with the topic of tools and settings. Tools and settings in Windows 10. We are expected by the end of this lesson to be able to browse and use the help function that is supported by Windows. And we have to be able to use the control panel as settings and we get through various options inside. Then we are or we have to be able uh, to deal with different configuration settings under desktop to change, I mean, adjust date and time, volume, background, resolution, and etc. Also, we have to be able to deal with keyboard settings, mainly dealing with language, how to add, change, and remove language or languages. Then we have to be able to deal with the non-responding application or program. Also, how to install and uninstall an application or program, and how to connect or disconnect the devices or device attached to the computer. And lastly, how to capture full screen or active window only. This is for lesson seven. The next lesson, we are going to talk about file management topic. Also, as I said, under Windows 10 platform or environment. So we will start with the file explorer. We are expected by the end of this lesson to be able to open the file explorer, navigate between drives, folders, subfolders, and files. Also, we have to be able or we are expected to be able to display five folder properties also to change view to display files and folders, identify common files types, open file folder drive, name and rename file folder or folders. Also, we have to be able to create file or folder. And one of the most important topics during this lesson is how to search for files by specific properties, such as by name or content, by date, by size, or wide cut. And the last subtopic for this lesson is how to list the recently used files. This is a brief of the main topics and subtopics for lesson eight. Then we will move to lesson nine, which is going to talk about organizing files and folders. We are expected by the end of this lesson to be able to select files and folders, mainly select individual files or folders, select adjacent files and folders, or select non-adjacent files or folders. Also, we are expected to be able to sort files with different criteria. Also to copy, move files and folders between folders or different drives. Also, we have to be able or we are expected to be able to delete files or folders specifically from a drive or a folder inside the desktop computer or any computer. 
And last topic of lesson nine is how to empty the recycle bin. We are expected by the end of this lesson to be able to empty the recycle bin. And we will talk about it in details. What does it mean empty recycle bin? And what is the difference between deletion of a file and empty the recycle bin from that file? So by end of lesson nine, we are expected to finish week three. Then we will move to next week, which is week four. We'll start on 28th of January through 1st of February. During week four, we are going to cover three lessons, lesson 10, 11, and 12. In lesson 10, we will cover an important topic also, which is about storage and compression under Windows 10. We are going to talk about the types of storage media, internal and external hard disks or drives, solid state hard drives, SSD, abbreviated as SSD. And we will talk about the main differences between or among these types between the regular or traditional hard drive and the SSD. Also, we are going to cover the USB flash drives, specific properties for that type. Network drives, CD-ROM drive, DVD-ROM, Blu-ray disk, memory card, and online file storage or cloud computing or cloud storage. Then we are going to talk about and study about the storage capacity measurements, how to measure the storage capacity using specific units. We will talk about these units later during the lesson. Also, how to view available space on a storage device. And last topic in this or during this lesson is about file and folder compression. We will learn how to compress files and folders and how to do the vice versa, which is extracting the compressed files and folders to allocation on a drive. Then we will move to lesson 11, which is going to talk about outputs. Mainly, we will work with text during this lesson or this unit in the textbook. We will deal with major and keyword processing applications like Notepad, WordPad, and Microsoft Word. We will learn how to exit an application how to close an open file, how to open a file within a word processing application, how to create a new document and enter text inside, and how to move copy text, paste screen capture inside the document. And lastly, we will learn how to save and name a document. Then the last lesson during that week, week four, which is lesson 12, we will learn about printing the unit about printing. We will learn how to install and uninstall a printer using Windows 10, using the proper settings inside Windows 10. We will see how to test a printer through a test page. And then how to set a default printer. If you have several printers installed in the computer, there is an option to select one of these printers to be the default one. Also, how to print a document. There are several options when you want to print a document. And also how to deal with the print manager, to view the print job progress, to pause, restart, or cancel a print job. So these were the main lessons and topics that we are going to cover during the next two weeks, week three, and week four of the second semester. Thank you and wish you all the best and see you later.